bad spot, really. Apparently, I've not paid yet, I'm on my way. But if all of the Park for Night reviews are true, I can stay right there for £7 for two nights and the day in between. Which sounds perfect to me. And look at my neighbours. Hello. Oh, it's a load of bull, I tell you. It's all bull. Good morning. Nice early start. I mean, it's early for me. Um, I am off. Oh, awesome as it been. Um, I am off to the castle today. Um, before y'all get excited, not doing some of uh, Tasha's rubble loving. <laughs> um, I won't go in the castle. I'll walk past the castle. I'm going to go to Merlin's Cave. And I am going to go to the, um, the statue that's on the cliff and over that really, really big scary bridge. Which I'm actually looking forward to. So... Um, it's only rickety bridges I don't like, for obvious reasons. Um, but the weather is banging, it's already 22 degrees in the van. So, uh, oh, smell pastries. So yeah, let's go see what it looks like. You do that thing when you walk in and you have to lean back. Probably can't get the angle from me at the minute, but it's so steep. I'm always like, hey. of my life look at that it's getting ready to go over this big scary bridge but it is definitely definitely closed what do you reckon you reckon that's a bit of me i'm gonna go though believe that behind that rock is Merlin's cake. Do you ever just walk past somewhere and get that funny feeling that you're being watched? I don't know why, but there's just something. Not an accessible feature, let's say. However, <laughs> I've just had an epiphany that means I've been a big brave girl because I just wished I brought my swimming costume and my snorkel mask with me so I could go down there. I mean, that, that my lovelies, is a first. And this is why Mandy doesn't do history. This is Merlin's cave. That one is King Arthur's mine. 
there we go. All the things. So, this was where I was hoping to get to see the Galos statue, but uh, this bridge was closed and everything up here. It's such a shame. It's beautiful. Oh dear, I'm tired. Um, I've moved the van because the sun will now come through this door all day whereas when I got here yesterday it was shade all day and wind was blowing right in so it was a bit cold and as we know I like it hot so I figured I'll quite happily get baked by the sun this afternoon. I had a lovely walk down to Tintagel Castle before um was a bit gutted that there was a few bits that were shut it probably was down to me getting there too early rather than everything else although there are lots of restrictions and things closed off because of the um, erosion of all the rocks and things from the storm in February but um, absolutely beautiful little beach down there like a billion gajillion steps to get that far uh, if you are struggling with your mobility there is a jeep uh, it's not a jeep i'll get shouted at for that <laughs> it's a land rover um that will come and pick you up from the village and take you down for like a quid 60 or something and you can't get all the way to all the places but there are places to get to so it's slightly accessible but obviously you can't get to the beach there's no way um without climbing a bajillion gajillion steps so uh, it was lovely and it was nice to get out first thing and it was nice to just have the noise of the waves just splashing against the shoreline. There was a guy there and he, he was obviously on a run in the morning and he came pounding down the steps like two or three at a time. I'd have been rolling down the blooming steps, gets to the bottom, strips off to his undies, goes for a swim, comes back out again, puts his running gear back off, back on again, dries his face with his t-shirt and then runs back up the hill again and I'm like legend I mean I'd have fallen like five times and scared myself trying to swim in the sea or, or whatever but I would have very very happily if I'd known it was that pretty there I would have very very happily put my swimming costume in my bag with a towel and maybe even my snorkel mask and gone down there for a little bit of a, a mooch there was a few little family there and a couple of other people so it was uh it wasn't just me down there but yeah yeah i'm liking the fact that it just doesn't put me off anymore it's not like oh no oh i might just put my toe in it would be like nah get in there girl but yeah so i might actually start packing bit in my rucksack so I've got stuff to do so at least there's a towel so if I do want to go swimming or a pair of lightweight shorts or something like that but yeah so I'm just going to rest up for a little bit I had a bit of a recce at the shops as I was walking past before and a lot of them don't open till half 10 because it's Sunday and I've still got about half an hour to go so I will sneak in another cup of coffee because why not and then go and have a little walk around this lovely little village well after my debacle this morning of me peeking too soon and not actually getting to see the castle and the Galos statue I've treated myself, well John's treated both of us actually to a joint membership for English Heritage and I'm going to go back later I've just gone down there and a wonderful guy has just sort of signed me up but um, it is heaving, it's ridiculous so um, yeah I'm going to go back the lady said if I go back at 3 or 4 then it will be a lot less busy uh, it's middle of the day when it gets really bad and it is really hot so uh, I figured I'll have a lovely walk around the town get myself some food and then I'll head down later on and make the most of it being a little bit less busy again may even pack me cosy if I'm feeling brave who knows but yeah bargain 25% off memberships in all of August for English Heritage so I managed to get a joint one for £86 that's saving like 30 quid and that's not excuse me that's not an affiliate or anything that is on their website so if you're interested in English Heritage go get yourself one now while it's nice and cheap and you're still helping out
I was thinking, I'm going to go back to the van, I'm going to be a good girl and I'm going to cook myself some food. I've got about an hour and a half before I'm going to go back to the castle. I can't walk past, I've been smelling them baked pasties all morning so yeah that wasn't happening. So Cornish pasty coat with a cheese and onion pasty and a cheese scone because I got to compare it to uh, Chunky's cheese scones. <sighs> and then I'll roll down the hill to the castle later. Oh, Bumble looks like he's got no mates. They've all gone into the other field, look. Oh. I got myself a new pin to commemorate my first holiday on my own to Cornwall. Pasty. You know, I am so excited. I've been uh, pondering for a while whether to get English Heritage um, membership. And I think it's the one that's probably preferable to us, the National Trust, because it's all outside, or the majority of it is outside from what we've seen. And it seems to be more dog friendly than, um, than the National Trust. However, I've been looking through, I mean, look how cool the handbook is. Look it. It's cool. That's just got mine and John's uh, windscreen stickers in there. Just looking, when you live in your van, as everybody who lives in a van knows, you have to go somewhere. You, you have to go somewhere. You can't not go anywhere. So by having this, it gives us something to do. We can have a look through the, I've bookmarked so many places that look amazing. And um, apparently uh, Wales and Scotland, it's 50% off entry fees for the first year. And if you renew for your second year, you get in there free as well. Everywhere. And the magazine has got loads of discounts and stuff in, so I can't wait to get my teeth into that. I cannot believe that I waited so long. So if it's still August, which hopefully will be now, um, go on then. I'm going to post it on Instagram as well. 25% off. Like I say, I've just saved £28 and some pennies by uh, getting a joint membership now. It's amazing. It is too good to miss. Here we go. So this is the bridge I couldn't go across before because it was closed and now it should be open. And this is the gallows statue that I am desperate to go see. So I am here, not too bad. Already done all of this. Yeah, good stuff. Another one off the list, eh? tell I was feeling a little bit hormonal at this point because seeing this helicopter flying over gave me a massive lump in my throat and my bottom lip was stuck out half a mile. I think seeing it and realising that they were out to help somebody, that there is somebody that desperately needs them, is something that makes me really think. Especially when I've been listening to Cornish Radio while I've been down here and listening about how the petrol crisis, the fuel crisis, is really affecting the emergency services. It costs them an absolute fortune to get that helicopter out. And now they're having to struggle to see whether they've got enough money to send it. So much fundraising going on for the emergency services down here just to help out. Now look at this magnificent sculpture here and the views that you get from up here. It's definitely a case of Instagram versus reality though. Whereas at first it took everybody a coordinated effort to get nobody around the statue so people could take pictures. Otherwise, there was a massive queue and obviously lots and lots of people wanted to go see it. I love the idea of doing it though because when you do get close up, you get this. I'm well impressed with the pictures. The scenery around it is amazing. But getting enough time when it's really busy to get a video of this 
was nigh on impossible. Just have to stop for a second. We see the start size of these steps. Are you ready? <laughs> so what do you think? I think this is the get up I'm going to need if I'll catch any pike. Quite fetching, don't you think? So there's a little shop and an exhibition there and the exhibition is really cool it's like proper interactive with lights and everything showing you about what the castle used to look like I love stuff like that because it gets even me interested when i just think oh pretty but yeah really really good Whew, well back in the van and uh, what a walk that was i mean that was crazy busy in comparison i mean even though the lady said it was going to be a lot less busy um in the afternoon but yeah absolutely beautiful place beautiful walk loads of people queuing up to see the gallows statue that was um that was quite funny we had to all make an agreement to just not go near it for a minute so everybody could take a picture without people near it and there must have been about 20 of us who were really after just a picture or something um so managed to get like a tiny tiny little bit of footage but um no it, that was really good and the way that they have uh, showcased it all with little plaques and things well impressed with english heritage for doing all of that it was very very good but my goodness, it is so hot. It is so hot. So uh, I think I'm going to uh, chill in the van. I've got some little bits of things to do. And then I think I'm going to get some snacks and a movie. And I'll see you in the morning. And a lovely good morning to you. I'm off out of Tintagel today. I have loved my time here. Honestly, I can't believe we've never been. It's um, We come to cornwall or we had come to cornwall so many times with the caravan or doing um you know the i suppose it was airbnb like the where people let out their properties there was a whole like bunch of websites for it and we used to do those all the time and uh and yeah i don't think i've ever been here um i'd never been to bude and never been to the other place beginning with a b that's really pretty near barnstaple I remember it in a little bit um so this is um this is a, a thing that i'm thinking this trip's going to turn into a little bit is even though i'll be going people say oh go to saint hostel or go to Newquay or, or all of those places um padstow I, I know padstow i know i love padstow but i'm not going to go back there because i've already been many many times so this is like a filling in the gaps thing now because I keep jumping when I'm planning on the map, keep jumping the big bits, the bits I've already seen to try and get to spend time in, in other bits. I've been recommended some lovely bays that are really nice and, and steady and flat for paddleboard, paddleboarding where you can park right by the beach as well. So um, yeah, there's loads of little things that I'm thinking this is going to turn into and I'm also thinking of not actually announcing on these little chats I have with myself what I'm going to do in the day because if it changes I annoy myself I'm like no I wanted to do that and it just you just got to go with the flow I think the one thing I've found about being in Cornwall is that everybody says it's really difficult and anti camper van I mean this Tintagel is not just head here. It doesn't matter. Uh, there's loads of places that if you want to spend under £10 in a day to stay somewhere, then there are places that you can go and you can stay. Obviously, there's lots of free parking. I'm more than happy to pay to stay in the centre where things are and then leave and go find a lay-by the, for the night. Um, no problem doing that at all. And I'm finding it okay. It's a few frustrating things, but I'm not as bothered. Uh, I'm not as feeling like I'm going to stamp my feet and say I'm going to go home as I thought I might have been. So yeah, 
this is um I'm, I'm having such a good time it's so lovely i'm taking all the things off um the only bit of my kit that i didn't know if, if i should bring or not that i've not done yet is my paddle board so and now i've got the pump for it i can uh, hopefully find somewhere nice to do that but today might be a bit of a wild swim if i can get there there's been um something that the one thing on my list things to do in cornwall list mandy started and wrote one thing on it which is is it st nectin's glen with the waterfalls so it's nice and early so i'm going to go there everyone recommends get nice and early get parked up in the lay by at the bottom and it's a 30 minute walk to the waterfalls so uh, i'm going to see if i can do that go to the waterfalls have a bit of a dip so i'm going to put my cosy on underneath my clothes and um and then i'm going to head off to hopefully what is a good park up by this bay that's really good for subboarding so i can do some of that tomorrow but i'll have time this afternoon to get some work done so uh, all good plan how easy it trips off the tongue let's see how it actually comes out and on that note i think i'm going to end the vlog here thank you for coming along with me i hope you liked intagel as much as i did i think i will absolutely be coming back here because it's such a magical place it's got a lovely feel to it and it is just in perfect location Thank you for watching, as usual. Thank you for all the comments on my previous videos and over on Instagram. I really appreciate every watch, every comment and every one of you. So take care, guys, and I will catch you on the next one.